Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go, or maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a pair of night vision binoculars. So this is the box that it comes in. Once you open it up, you're naturally going to get a little um, user manual. We're going to cover a lot of the features right here in the video. You are going to get a little cleansing cloth to keep the lens nice and clean. Then you're going to get a USB to USB type C cable. You're going to utilize this to charge up the battery in the binoculars. The binoculars do have a 6000 mAh battery. And that's going to last about four to six hours at nighttime, depending on your infrared setting. And it'll last even longer during the day. You're going to get about eight to 10 hours during the day if you're not using that infrared feature. Then you're obviously going to get a nice little bag here that you can utilize um, to store them when you're not utilizing, to put over your shoulder when you're going for a hike, whatnot. Uh, and then you're going to get the binoculars themselves. So this is what they look like. A nice little decent size. It's lightweight, so it's easy to carry. You will notice it has a nice big screen on the one side. So it's a three inch LCD screen with a resolution of 854 by 480. Makes it really nice and bright during the daytime or the nighttime. It does have this little bevel too. So you can easily see it in the daytime uh, when you are utilizing this. On the direct other side is where you're going to have the lenses. So the one with the cap is the main camera lens. You're going to have the cap on when you are shooting it with daytime. Um, it's just a filter in there so that way you can see. And then when at nighttime, you'll just remove the cap. And now it's built in for that nighttime um, footage or photo. So very, very easy to use. Now, another nice thing, it does have a manual focus. So uh, it does do a little bit of autofocus for that sweet spot with binoculars, but you can adjust it manually by just slowly twisting until everything is just perfect in focus, which is a nice little feature of it. On the underside, it does have a tripod mount. So if you are wanting to attach this to a monopod or a tripod to get more stable video or footage, you can do that, which is a nice little feature, especially when you're going hiking. Those monopods are super, super nice to stabilize when you are looking distance because the slightest movement may move the subject out of view depending on how far away it is. Now, how do you operate it? You're going to simply hold down the power button and that's going to turn on the screen. Uh, very easy to set up. You're going to have on the right hand side these little hourglass uh, looking or uh, binocular looking things. Um, and what those are going to do is it's going to activate the digital zoom. So this thing does do a six times digital zoom. So let's say you see a bird up in the tree and you just want to get a little bit closer shot of it. You can fine tune it by pressing the plus or minus on those a little hourglass, if you will, or magnifying glass, if you will. Um, and then on the direct other side, you're going to have the little IR symbol. That is what's going to adjust the infrared. So it has the zero, one, two, three, or four options with the infrared. And basically that's going to make it brighter. So depending on how close or far your uh, object is that you're looking on, you can tweak that to make it more clear, which is really nice that it has multiple settings to do that. Now, um, below that, you're going to have the mode button. Simply activate that. It's going to bring up the menu. In the menu, you can change the resolution to the photos. It has a ton of resolution options on there. Uh, the max one is 9 megapixels. And then it also has the option to change the video quality. Uh, you can do the 1080p. There's a lot of options under there. You can set the date, the time, the language, all that standard stuff, format the card. There's plenty of things to adjust. You're going to just use the up and down arrows to adjust those as you need. And then there is a little um, OK button that will select that. Now, it does do, like I said, photos and video. How you're going to select that is you're just going to hold down the OK button and it's going to switch between photos or video. So if you want to take a photo, just hold it down until you move to the photo option. And then you're just going to simply tap it to go ahead and start recording. So it's very, very easy to utilize and set up. And then if you want to stop, just tap it again. It stops and then hold it down to move to the other format as you wish. And it tells you that all on the screen. There's going to be, it'll say, hey, there's a picture for that. Or it'll be a little video camera for the video. And then obviously it will show you a little red light when it is recording that video. Um, and then there is on the side a little door that is underneath, so in case it gets wet or anything like that. 
There is a micro SD card. It does include a 32 gigabit SD card. So you have plenty of room to take pictures or a video. And then next to that also is where you will plug it in to charge it with that type C connection. But overall, it's a really nice uh, little night vision binocular setup here. If you are in the market and you're looking for some night vision um, binoculars, I think this one is at least worth checking out. If there is something that I haven't quite covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys, take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.